Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Trisha, also known as Trish. Uh, last week, I just wanted to get on here really quick and just let y'all know what we're going to be doing in this video. As if you don't know because you clicked on it and it says DIY wall art. But last week, I did my daughter's bedroom makeover and above her bed, there was three pieces of art that me and her made together. It was um, super cheap really fast to do I 10 out of 10 recommend and if you didn't see that video where we did her bedroom over I am going to link it below so you can check that out but the wall art um was really quick to do so I 10 out of 10 recommend it it doesn't look like DIY like you know what I mean like sometimes when you do things it just looks like yeah it's giving I did this myself but no it really turned out nice it looks like you know really upscale and abstract it was nice so i definitely like i said i definitely recommend it i'm going to show y'all how we did it and that's it so come with me while we do that peace real quick i got to tell y'all hit the subscribe button see this is ultra matte set and high gloss so i guess i want to go matte i just don't know maybe we're going to go something like this This might be good, right? Paint and primer bonds to plastic, wood, metal, and more. Sand dollar, that's the color. These three canvas boards I found at Goodwill. They were about $5 for all three of them, so definitely can't beat it. Check your local Goodwill or like Salvation Armies or just any place that's selling, you know, used items. Sometimes you can find some really nice deals in there. So anyway, so I found these three at Goodwill. I am using the Ultra Matte Rust-Oleum. I got the color white, Ultra, Ultra White. I went with Ultra White instead of that sand dollar that I saw in the store because I wanted something that was, um, really white like I didn't want it to show up too yellow so anyway so I'm gonna start spray painting these canvases So each of these canvases, it took us about two or three coats, more so because we were trying to cover like that, that greenery that you see on the picture. So we had to go over it multiple times to get a, to, to cover it, like to get good coverage. But it still didn't take long. Like each picture probably took like five minutes. We just went over it once, let it dry for like a few seconds and then, not seconds, maybe like you know, a minute or so, and then went over it again. And this is what the finished product looked like. It's a nice, even coat, all white, good starting point. So we let those dry overnight, and then the next day, we went outside and got busy. These are the only three tools you'll need. A painting trowel, um, a notch trowel, and some spackle. All right, so let's start. And I'm, when I'm applying it, I'm trying to be careful not to um, do it too hard to poke a hole in it. But let's see. I 
I'm doing the first one and then Logan is gonna start. She wanted to compete against me to see if hers would look better, but I told her I don't wanna compete. I just want them both to be, I just want them both to look nice. What you saying, Logan? Let me tell you. So she actually asked me to compete, guys. No, I did not. You said you wanna, you said do you wanna compete no. and see who's look don't, better? And I said no. Oh she, my God. She said, she said let's see who can, let's see who can do better. Whatever, Logan. I don't, we don't have to do that. Cause we already know. Yeah, we're just gonna see. We already know. This looks really nice already. What y'all think? Logan, thanks. Mm, it looks, it looks okay. Just look like art already. Listen, mm -hmm. Logan, you can start on yours if you want. So okay. this is mine here. Logan's gonna use this one over here. And start on hers. Yeah, baby. Yeah, shorty. Okay, I think you should use the smaller one okay. to start. And make sure you be careful. Don't poke a hole in it. Poke a hole in the top. Oh, yeah. Don't, see, don't lean on it. Yeah, and don't get it on the edges. So not too close to edges. Yeah, close, but don't just don't get it on. Oh, this one is actually easy, like, to control. Mm, that's too thin. Oh, are you an artist? Yes, I am. <laughs> it looks good already. Right. I told you, you probably would do better with a bigger one. You can use the bigger one if you want. I like the Just smaller one so you can add more detail to it. Okay. But... Excuse me. Okay, excuse me, Picasso. Okay. Like, you see the, like, little details. Mm -hmm. I didn't add it, all of them yet. But... All right. I'm going to keep going on mine so that it don't dry before it's in the design that I wanted to be in. When I did eh, that, oh, and then you turned it upside Langston, down. Langston, hold the camera. Oh yeah, but as you turn it upside what down, just turn was, into a I just happened was I just became an artist. That's what, that's what just happened. She's all hyped up. <laughs> well, as you flip it upside down, and turn it into a L. She gets hyped after every little. An artist. I that's think I might really be. Do that look like good? Do I want to leave it like that? Let Bobby, me see something. You will see like the tree that don't really look that good, and you will say, "No, it looks good." Yeah, that's because that's yeah, to her. Maybe right. because she's a little bit older, but it doesn't really always look that good. Sometimes elderly stay different. Yeah. You said elderly. <laughs> point I was trying to think of the name I should you know like call myself because at this point I was feeling real artsy I was feeling like an artist and I'm thinking you should call me Patricia Patricia the artist <laughs> but no but really they turned out really nice um they go together but they're all very different what do y'all think we loved it. I'm definitely going to do this again on a larger scale. And I encourage you all to become artists. Finished product.